Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Are you fed up with seeing ads all over your phone, on websites, inside your favorite games, in your emails, and even randomly appearing on your home screen? What if I told you that your phone might be quietly allowing apps and websites to deliver hundreds of hidden ads every single day, even when you're not actively using it? In today's video, I'll show you how to remove these ads permanently. The best part? You don't need to install any strange application or spend any money. Just make sure you follow every step carefully, because the final trick I'll show you is extremely powerful. It can instantly block ads across your whole device. So let's begin. Step 1. Block ads using private DNS. This first method is one of the strongest ways to stop ads before they even load. Private DNS works silently in the background, directing your phone to use a smarter internet server that blocks advertisements and tracking domains. Normally, when you open any site or app, your phone requests the internet for the information. With private DNS enabled, your phone connects only to safe servers that refuse to load known ad and tracker sources. This means ads get blocked from the root before they ever download to your phone, making browsing quicker, cleaner, and more secure. To enable it, open Settings, use the search box at the top and type DNS. Select Private DNS. Choose Private DNS Provider Hostname and type this exactly, dns.adguard.com then hit Save. That's all. You've now activated a hidden Android feature that blocks ads in most apps, websites, and games. After turning it on, try opening a site that normally shows many ads, you'll notice fewer banners or blank spaces where ads usually appear. Your pages should also load faster because your phone no longer wastes time downloading ad files. However, private DNS can't stop every advertisement. Some apps have built-in ads from their own servers, which can still show up. Also, certain banking or office apps may not work correctly with private DNS active. If that happens, just go back to settings and switch it to off or automatic. Step 2. Quickly stop advertising emails. Another huge source of ads is your email inbox. When you sign up on websites, join giveaways, or download free software, you might unknowingly agree to receive promotional emails. These companies then bombard you with offers, marketing messages, and hidden ad links daily. The good news is, you can stop them easily without any extra tools. Every promotional email contains a small unsubscribe link, usually located at the bottom. Once you tap it, you're removed from their mailing list. Open Gmail or any email app, tap the search bar, and type unsubscribe. This displays all emails that include unsubscribe options, basically all ad-based messages. Open one, scroll down, tap unsubscribe or manage preferences, and confirm. Repeat this for the rest. After doing this several times, your inbox will feel much cleaner. No more random product promotions, discount spam, or fake newsletters, just important and personal messages. Step 3. Block website pop-ups and notifications. Even after cleaning your inbox and enabling private DNS, some users still receive sudden pop-up ads while browsing. This happens when you accidentally grant a website permission to send notifications. When visiting sites, a pop-up appears asking, allow notifications, Tapping Allow grants that site permission to push ads anytime, even if your browser is closed. To fix this, open your browser, tap the three dots in the top right corner, then go to Settings. Scroll down to Site Settings, then tap Notifications. You'll see Websites Allowed to send you alerts. Disable the permission for any site you don't trust or that spams ads. Next, go back to Site Settings and find Pop-ups and Redirects. Turn it off. Then look for ads or intrusive ads, depending on your version, and switch that off too. These settings tell your browser to automatically block extra ad windows and suspicious redirects. After this, your browsing will feel cleaner, faster, and safer. Step 4. Stop floating pop-ups from apps. Even if you block browser and email ads, some apps still show floating ads or sudden pop-ups on your home screen. This happens because certain apps secretly use a special Android permission called Display Over Other Apps or Appear on Top. It allows them to show content above other apps, even when you're using something else. To disable this, open Settings, scroll to Apps or App Management, tap the three dots, and choose Special App Access. Then tap Display Over Other Apps. You'll see all apps with permission to show overlays. 
If you find unknown tools, cleaners, or wallpaper apps, tap them and turn the switch off. Once disabled, floating ads disappear instantly. Step 5. Stop Google and your smartphone from tracking your ad interests. Ever discussed a product, like shoes, phones, or kitchen tools, and suddenly saw ads about it later? It feels like your phone is listening. In most cases, it's not literally recording conversations. Instead, companies like Google, Facebook, TikTok, etc. track what you search, watch, install, and buy. They combine this data to build a digital profile and show personalized ads. And yes, some apps can listen to short audio bursts if they have microphone access, detecting keywords. That's why ads seem so accurate. Even after blocking all previous ad sources, your phone may still push built-in system advertisements. They can appear in your notification bar, lock screen, file manager, theme store, or even inside settings. To disable them, open settings, scroll down, and tap Google, then ads. On older phones, Android 10 to 11, turn on opt-out of ads personalization. On newer devices, Android 12, 14 plus, tap delete advertising ID and confirm. This removes your unique tracking ID, making targeting impossible. And that's it. Your phone should now feel faster, lighter, cleaner, and more private. No more pop-ups, no more random recommendations, and no more ads appearing after conversations. If this video helped you, please support the channel 